the girls have located a water source, the perfect environment in which to find a caiman. It just looks like caiman territory to the max. Mm -hmm. Catching a caiman crocodile is a difficult skill to master, and you've got to find one first. But these masters of disguise do have one potentially fatal flaw. And at night, if you're armed with a torch, the castaway should be able to pick out the reflective, gleaming red eyes of the caiman crocodiles. What was that? It's a kake, kake, kake. Oh, my God, baby. The islanders have barely eaten, and the camp is running on empty. I'm in! I'm in! I'm in! I'm into the big boy! I'm into the big boy! Go on, go on, go on! Oh, it's come off! No! No! God damn it! I'm just dead. I'm dead of energy. This is the first time where I felt white, white. And every time I bend down and get up, I just am dizzy, man. Like, passing out dizzy. Like, that's faint. I feel like a skeleton. All my chest bones are revealed, and I just feel disgusting. We're wrecked. So to have somebody like Phil, who has managed to damage every relationship with every individual in the group, it has a dire effect on the rest of us. Having a group that's fractured. In this environment, so detrimental to morale and also basic survival. You know, we are all extremely hungry. An iguana. Is there a rock there, Kags? Why don't you go round on the sea and pick one up from over there? Yes, that's it, that's the one. No, go on. Phil, still asleep. S half man, half mattress. Phil Gate. He cut his finger and that just seems to be like, well, I've cut my finger, he's not going to do anything. He's just a shirker, is what he is. He shirks all responsibility and that's it, he contributes zero to the group. Karen, you come over to Frank's bed. With the group divided and starving, Jane is hatching a plan to resolve the situation. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm going to ask you something right now. I'm looking to put Phil off the island. I don't think he's suited to this no, social, this yeah. social situation. I've instigated a vote to whether we think, as a team, Phil Coates stays on the island or not. If negative situations are allowed to fester in a group, it's inevitably going to push people to breaking point. And if they can't come together to reconcile those differences, then they're threatening their very chances of survival. The reason why I've asked you to come across is that um, I'm going to ask to get Phil Proth Island. I just think, I think he's sapping the little bit of energy that people have still got yet. Yeah, but I see the better side of him. What hell? <laughs> <laughs> just do. <laughs> I'm more concerned for him and the, the constant isolation, isolation yeah. and the little comments that are being made, which I don't particularly like. I don't think it's fair. Yeah, that's all right. So if you vote his stairs, if you vote his stairs, but I'm, I'm voting him off. Phil, he's probably upset the camp more than anybody, and he is hard work. But I think he's got good heart and good intentions, and I think it's wrong to be able to vote somebody off just because you don't like them. 
so Phil. It's obviously robbed a bunch of people up the wrong way. Should our society be able to tolerate people who've got slightly different behaviours? It's embarrassing to be part of a group that wants to vote someone away. Right, let's get a machine and we the way and we're ready. OK. Let's go. With relationships and camp close to breaking point, Jordan, Kagi and Emma head off, hoping to make a kill and provide a vital meal for everyone. So tonight is the night we're going caveman hunting. I am so excited. I need to get out of the camp. I need some time out. And as soon as camerawoman M suggested it, I was like, yeah, let's just do it. Do you know what? I already feel better for leaving the camp. So do I. So do I. This group is really fractured. It's not really a nice environment to be in. It's quite toxic. We're here! Start, girls. This is the start. How start are we feeling? Start a flower powers adventure. This is where we think the Cayman is, and we're going to be up all night hunting it. I'm not coming back to that campsite empty-handed. We're gonna come back with the game in. While they wait for darkness to fall, Jordan takes charge of starting a fire. If we get this fire going, then I, I can definitely stay out here all night. Look at that! Holy sh we're getting there. This is great! We have fire. We have fire. We have fire! Yay. Yes, yes, yes. Holy shit, is there anything you can't do, JT? Yeah. Oh, guys, that's an amazing saturation. It's amazing, though, like, it's so nice having it in your own hands. It is so nice. JT, she's a brilliant girl um, who, for some reason, lacks confidence. Um, so I think this will help her. Girls have located a water source, the perfect environment in which to find a caiman. It just looks like caiman territory to the max. Mm -hmm. Catching a caiman crocodile is a difficult skill to master, and you've got to find one first. But these masters of disguise do have one potentially fatal flaw. And at night, if you're armed with a torch, the castaway should be able to pick out the reflective, gleaming red eyes of the Cayman crocodiles. What was that? It's a kaki, kaki, kaki. Oh, my God, baby, you're right. Look at this place. It's so creepy. They haven't spotted a caiman, but Kagi has managed to catch something. I found a crab. I think it was sleeping, so I just stood on it. Let's take it back. That's great. It's something, isn't it? It's such a crab killer. I know. Our mini adventure is over. After eight hours hunting caiman, the girls head back to camp with just coconuts and crabs. We looked all night, all morning, which is absolutely shattered. I still feel like we've accomplished quite a lot. We're making a fire. It's a massive plus for me. Hola. Welcome back. How'd it go? Yeah, we've got four crabs and a coconut. Sorry, guys. Sorry. 